you know, I was in the middle of writing this article about um, how to do silo structured blogs. And, uh, you know, I was sitting here writing this up. I'm going to add images and things. And I just realized that um, if you've never heard of what a silo is, uh, it's really just confusing. So I wanted to do a quick video and just kind of walk through what I'm, what I'm typing out here and give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, so first of all, if you're, uh, if you're just visiting this site and you're just new to SEO and PPC or just SEO, I recommend that you don't start with Domain Web Studios. I recommend that um, this is something that immediate and expert SEO should be doing only. But if you're an intermediate person, you can, you know, you can start off with um, any of my modules on on-page optimization of WordPress. You can do uh, the magic submitter tutorials, and you can do um, article spinning, and then just kind of learn the basics. Uh, but once you've got that down and, and you're kind of ready to scale up your business and um, you know you've already built a bunch of sites that are like you know six seven pages each um, kind of what I'd call unstructured sites so what I'm talking about here is that I say that uh, Google likes two different types of ads um, or two different types of blogs uh, they either like the unstructured website unstructured website is basically like uh, you, you, know, you buy a domain you upload six or seven articles um, you have them all linked on the home page and then that's basically it. You know, you do some random internal linking and then you start sending backlinks and you try ranking for keywords. That's what I consider an unstructured website. This works on Google, this works fairly well. Um, but there is a, a second type of structure that most people don't even know about and the ones that do know about it, um, they get very, they're just afraid to approach it because it seems like such a hard thing to do. And that's uh, having a structured website. Uh, you might have heard the term a silo site. That's what they're talking about. Silo is a kind of a structure thing. And um, so when you're talking about a structured website, you know, you still have the home page. But on the home page, um, the only thing you're seeing are a bunch of categories. Like, uh, let's say, for example, uh, recommendation is a category, magic submitter is a category, YouTube market is a category. These are categories, okay? Now, if you click a category, if you click um, magic submitter, for example, um, you know, you'd have this site show up. We call this a silo. We call Magic Submitter a silo. It's kind of its own little category. And then when this page pops up, there would be um, a bunch of links here that are related only to Magic Submitter. So all the articles on your website that are related to Magic Submitter, they would pop up on the side here, um, and they wouldn't show up anywhere else. Like you see here how I have Magic Submitter and then I have local videos and I have article spinning and I kind of, I list everything on the site. Um, if you have a silo, you wouldn't have anything except Magic Submitter here. And then if you were to go to another silo, if you went to YouTube marketing, for example, um, all these other, other recommendations, they'd all fall away. You'd only see YouTube videos. And then, yeah, to go even one step further is what if, if you clicked on one of the articles within the silo, um, you could literally this could turn into um, this could turn into a whole new set of silo, a whole new set of like supporting articles or sub articles that go into just this article section, kind of like so you're building like a you're building a tree of data. And it's just really, really structured. And, and you can see what the structure is because um, of the URL. You know, you have the domain, and then you actually have the silo name here. And then you have either the article name, or if you're digging even deeper, you have the category. And then if you click on an article, then you have the domain, the silo, the category, and then the actual article. So it's all just very structured. And that's what a silo is. And um, if you think about you know all of the all of the kind of issues that can come from having a silo. You have to you have to track so much data, right? You have to you have to plan out um, how many articles you're going to have, how many silos, what are the keywords going to be per silo, um, and then you know you have to order the articles or write the articles, and then you have to upload it all into WordPress, and you have to um, link this article with this article and use this plugin, use this widget. It's possible, it's totally possible, I know how to do it. Um, it's simple, it's just kind of time consuming and overwhelming. And um, the biggest thing is it's not scalable. But I'm going to have some videos that, that show you how to do that. Um, if you're building small silos, that's perfectly fine. And you're still going to see benefit from it. It just depends on how much time you want to invest. 
Um, if you have some money to invest, however, then I have some good news for you. Because if you're interested in silos, because you should be, uh, because A, Google loves silos, B, one of the biggest advantages to silos over an, un over an unstructured website is that you need a tenth, a tenth of the backlinks. Because the internal linking is done so well that you don't need as many backlinks as you would with an unstructured site. So um, what I've started to use you know, you know, for a few weeks now, and I've built a bunch of sites with it already, is um, this software from Network Empire. It's called Domain Web Studios. It's this ridiculously advanced content management software that's really, really, really just helped me scale up my business. Um, I'm no longer, you know, I don't, I don't have to track my VAs anymore and stay on top of them in terms of what, what task are they on now and, and kind of like, you know, did you do this article, did you do that article? I'm able to track everything within the software. Um, the software tracks the keywords, it tracks the main keywords, what the supporting keywords are going to be, what the supporting keywords under that are going to be. It turns each one of those keywords into an article and then you're able to assign each one of those articles to a writer and they log into the system. Uh, you know, you, you give them a log, login password, they log into the system, they type up the article, they submit it back to you. Once all the articles are submitted back again, you can, you know, you can look at them, make sure everything's okay, and then you hit one button. Uh, it's a plugin that you put in WordPress, you hit one button, and the entire thing gets uploaded to, to WordPress. And you have an instant silo. That sounds really good, right? Uh, that sounded great to me, and, and um, you know, I jumped at the chance to use it. And after using it, I'm just such an excited, you know, I'm such an excited proponent of the software. It's it's absolutely amazing. Um, and I have a, a bunch of training videos already that I've shot for some of my VAs that I'm going to make uh, available to you just so that you see how the entire site works. And um, you know, the, the one downside is is that you, you do need some money to invest. It's not the cheapest thing in the world. Um, it, it does cost. I think uh, I, I last check, it cost about 150 a month, you know, which is which is definitely not cheap. Um, but if you have some money to invest and you really want to scale up your SEO and you want to get started now, you should start looking into Domain Web Studios, check out their stuff, look at some of their webinars on YouTube, and if you like it, you should definitely go for it. I'm going to have a bunch of tutorials here. I'm going to show you some of my sites and how they look after I did a silo, and then over time I'll show you how they're ranking, and um, I'm just going to create a, a really, really big and rich um, you know, kind of information repository uh, for Domain Web Studios because A, I love Domain Web Studios. Uh, I think it's a great tool. I stand behind their work. Um, the people that are that are involved in the project over there, you can tell that they really care about what they're doing and they have some really, really advanced stuff. You know, um, They have stuff that no one else is teaching like how to create social media funnels and start sending real traffic to your website almost instantly. You know, a lot of people are talking about uh, with SEO, creating backlinks, sending spam, doing this, doing that. It's all really wasted effort because, um, you know, you're creating all that content, but no one's ever going to see all that SEO backlinking garbage that you put out. Um, the only reason you do that is to get on the front page of Google, and then you start seeing content. What these guys are teaching is not only on top of silos, then they teach you how to uh, turn, that, turn that silo into a traffic generating machine, not only using Google, but also using social media. We have a ton of courses about that. Such a huge and intensive program. I'm really excited to be a, a part of this. And, and make sure you go through some of my articles and videos and learn more about the program.